Hello everybody, get ready to do lesson 2.3 of pre-algebra math, part one. Simplifying variable expressions today. We have a 36 point skill sheet for our classwork and then we got 22 points here worth of notes to take. Here are our standards, our objective, and then here's our bell work. Students uh, write these as um, uh, rate as a fraction, both these as a fraction. Teachers give your students about five minutes. We're back for our solutions for our bell work. There would be the way that you would write 17 meters per one second, 0.75 pounds per one foot, one square foot. We got a square there, don't forget that. Okay, into our lesson here. The parts of an expression that are added together are called terms. In the expression below, the terms are 5x, 4x, and the coefficient of each term. <clears throat> Here's the coefficient, coefficient. This is just a constant here. So here are terms. Each of these terms are separate from each other. They're separated by an ad a addition sign. So coefficients are 5 and 4 here. And the 7 would be a constant. Okay, constant. Go back in the video and look at that and pause it. Students, for your vocabulary, in your own words, define terms. Define coefficient. Go back into the video or go back into the PowerPoint. If you have PowerPoint, define those. And then we have more vocabulary here. Constant term, like terms here. Okay, example one, identifying parts of an expression. Here is an expression here. Terms, coefficients, uh, constant terms of this expression here. What are they? So I write the expression as a sum. We're going to put our negative inside of parentheses and then our negative three inside of parentheses as well. It separates them off better. Identify the parts of the expression. Note that because y equals 1y, the coefficient of y would be 1. We have a 1 here. That's in when you write in a variable by itself. So here are our terms. y8, negative 5y, negative 3. Like terms are y and negative 5y. They both have y as a variable. And then 8 and negative 3, they're both constants. So those are like terms. Coefficients are 1 and negative 5, 1 and negative 5, then a constant rate, negative 3 for that. Into our guided practice. For this uh, expression here, identify terms like terms, coefficients, and constants. And then students, same thing for you. Do this on your uh, independent practice. Pay attention. We're going to do this now for the uh, um, guided practice. Here's our expression. So we're going to put our negative 6 inside parentheses and our negative y inside of parentheses and add them. It does not change the, the value of this expression by doing that, and it separates them off better. So the terms are 5, 8w, negative 6, and negative y. Those were our terms. And then like terms are 8w and negative y. So 8w and negative y, they're like terms. They're not the same sign, but they're like terms. And then our constants are 5 and negative 6. That would be our constant. So coefficients would be 8. We have 8 here and then negative 1. Negative w has a coefficient, or rather w has a coefficient of negative 1. And then the constant terms are 5 and negative 6. Those are our constants. And then again, here is the expression. Putting uh, these two here, we're going to simplify this expression now. So we're going to... Uh, put our constants together here, 5 plus negative 6, and then we're going to move this over here, 8 plus negative 1 times w. We're going to distribute our multiplication through the bracket here with our coefficients. We're going to combine our 8w and our negative w like this, 8 plus a negative 1. And then we come up with this, a negative 1 plus 7 w would be the simplification of this original expression here. <clears throat> negative 6 and 5 would be negative 1, and then positive 8w and negative w would be 7w. 
7w minus 1. This is more of a standard form, a standard representation of this expression. Simplifying expressions, you can use distributive property here. So this can be uh, rearranged like this, where it equals 11x. The like term 7x and 4x have been combined, and the expression has been simplified. A variable expression is simplified if it contains no grouping symbols and all like terms. Combine. So in this example here, example two, we're going to simplify this expression, write as a sum. So we're going to put our negative n and our negative 7 inside parentheses, and then we have our other terms here. Commutative properties. So we're going to move our negative n over next to our 4n here, and then our negative 7 will be moved over to our positive 9. So we have our con group together there, it'll be easier to combine them. So after we uh, move things around, we're going to factor out an n from our uh, from our variable expressions here. So it'll be 4 plus a negative 1 times n plus negative 7 and positive 9. And then we get 4 plus a negative 1 be positive 3 times n plus 2. Negative 7 plus a positive 9 would be positive 2. Into our next guided practice, we're going to simplify this. Students, simplify that. Okay, this expression here, simplifying it. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply our negative 1 through our parentheses here. So we have 8c plus 2, negative 1 times c is negative c. Negative 1 times positive 2 would be negative 2. So we have this now. So now we're going to group together our variables together, 8c minus c plus 2 minus 2. We're going to group our constants together. And then we just come up with positive 7c. 8c minus c is 7c. These cancel out to 0. Here is a simplified expression of that. That was lesson 2.3, part 1. Part 2 and part 3 are available at the email. Thank you.